Hello everyone, this is Amrit Pal Singh. Welcome to the next video. Guys, in this video, I'll be discussing how we can perform dynamic routing in Cisco Packet Tracer using CLI, command line interface, okay? Let's get started. So we're gonna have two routers here. You can expand your network as per your own wish, but I'm just demonstrating with the two routers. Uh, we can have now two switches, okay? Two switches. And we can have four PCs, okay? Four PCs here, done. Okay, let's connect now. Router and router both are same devices. For them, same devices, we use cross uh, crossover cable. So let's connect. Ethernet port, Ethernet port, done. Uh, for uh, PC and this, sorry, PC and the switch, both are different devices. For different devices, we take straight cable. Straight, straight. Any Ethernet port you can connect. Uh, here also different devices. So Ethernet port to the Ethernet port, done. In the same way, Ethernet port of this router to the Ethernet port of this switch. And the last one, Ethernet port, this one, Ethernet port, this one. In the same way, Ethernet port of this one with the Ethernet port of this one. And last one is Ethernet port of this one and uh, Ethernet port of this one. This is my network, okay? Let's, uh, because we know that router works in different networks, so we have total three networks here. Left side, one network. In between, we have uh, another network. Right side, we have another network. So we have three networks in total. So let's label those networks. So this network will be 91 network for me. It's class A I'm taking. This one will be class B I'm considering. So it is 162.33.0.0, something. You can have any network. Right side, it is class C. I'm having this, let's suppose, something. Okay, so we have uh, three networks available now. So this networks, uh, we have class A left side, B middle, and the right one we have a C. So let's start with the PC. Uh, go to the PC and go to the desktop. Okay, let's give the IP address because this PC belongs to this 91 networks. So first usable will be 91.0.0.1. Okay, and uh, mask will be 255.000 because the class A and 91.0.0.2. To it's a gateway. What is a gateway? Gateway means uh, through which your data will be traveling to the outside network. Okay, so for this PC, gateway is FA00 of this router. So FA00 router's address will be 91.2. We can also give this IP address via command line as well. Okay, how we can give? We do the command prompt and write a command as IP config space IP address. IP address we already uh, decided it is 91.0.0.1. And its uh, mask will be 255 triple zeros, and its uh, gateway will be 91 uh, second usable IP. Second usable IP will be dot two. Enter. So both things are same. If you do this way, it's also it's also okay, and if you do this way, it's also okay. Both are equivalent. Okay, this is done. In the same way, now uh, let's uh, do the second PC desktop uh, IP configuration. Uh, again, it is the same network. So 91 dot zero dot zero dot uh, three because we already given two as a gateway one to the PC so it is a third usable is three uh, mask will come automatically so its gateway will be same as of that other PC it is two so this is done so we have given the IP addresses to PCs here left side and also let's now give the IP address to right PCs as well the right PC belonging to the uh, 200 network so 200 network the first usable will be 200 dot 17 dot 18 dot zero sorry zero is the uh, network address first usable will, will be dot one mass will come automatically it's a class c 255 255 255 dot zero so default gateway we are considering as 217 <coughs> dot 18 dot two okay this is a default gateway so gateway means for this pc the gateway will be fa01 through which your data will be traveling to the outside world or to the other network okay this is done done open up this pc go to desktop okay ip configuration so this is uh, the same network 200 dot 17 dot 18 dot third usable ip is 3 and gateway we already decided it is as 2 so 200 dot 17 dot 18 dot 2 done so this is done also. So we have now uh, successfully configured the four PCs at the bottom. Now we are left with the two routers here. 
so uh, let's open up the first router left side okay go to cli and always write here no the first command will be always enable afterwards the next command will be always configure terminal okay this is user mode it's a privilege mode we have a multiple modes available in router so we have entered to the config mode configuration mode okay in this configuration mode we have to now configure the two ports fa01 fa00 fa00 is a uh, belonging to 91 network fa01 belonging to the 162 network let's start with the fa00 first so the command is very simple uh, interface space f capital fa0 by 0 enter the command for ip address is ip space address okay is ip we already decided it will be 2 because gateway is same as fa0 so it is 2 and it is a class a network so class a ip its mask will be 255 done afterwards let's write the command no shutdown no shutdown command is a command to switch on that port okay you can see when i uh, write this no shutdown command it is turned into green okay now right exit and now the right one right one is fa01 fa01 how we can do interface same command fa0 by 1 done now afterwards what to do we know ip address this is the 162 network 162.33 its first usable will be dot 1 okay and its mask because because it's a class b network so mask will be 255255 0.0 and the command next command we all know it is no shutdown always done so now we have successfully configured the what the ip addresses on both sides now let's configure dynamic routing so i haven't discussed dynamic routing yet so let's let's discuss it first what's the meaning of dynamic routing dynamic routing meaning is from the source to destination the data or the uh, packet can take any path okay so it's not it's different from the static routing in static routing which i which i have already explained earlier in my other video static routing meaning is path is fixed from the a to b okay but in the case of dynamic routing path is not fixed from a to b so packet can take any path okay so this is called dynamic routing so in a dynamic routing the concept is very simple in which we have to just consider the the uh, path or the uh, network which is directly connected in a case of static routing what was the case we were taking the uh, only the unknown network or indirect network but in the case of dynamic routing we have to take the known network or the direct networks for this router the, the, the direct networks are 91 network and 162 network always remember static routing meaning is unknown and dynamic means known or the directly connected networks so the command for dynamic routing is very simple we have to give a command as uh okay we have to give a command as router rip the protocol which is working under the dynamic routing is rip rip stand for routing information protocol so routing information protocol we have to write here as a abbreviated form rip done so in a static routing there is no protocol involved but in the case of dynamic routing we have multiple protocols but now because it's a basic tutorial so we are using the rip rip stand for routing information protocol it only require the directly connected networks so first directly connected network is the command is network space the directly connected network id it is 91 first na 91 done and second one is network which is we already know 162.33.0.0 done it is as simple as that okay let me repeat again there is a difference between static and dynamic routing in static routing the path is fixed there is no protocol involved in the case of dynamic routing the path is not fixed we can take any path and uh, the protocol which is involved in dynamic routing is rip rip stand for routing information protocol and it works on the concept or the principle we have to uh, give the information as directly connected networks we have a two connected directly connected networks for this router is 162 and 91 we are done so this router is properly configured close that window the last step is pending go to this router right router and we have to just repeat all the steps again no first command we know enable second command we already know configure terminal configure terminal we already know this command afterwards what to do we know that we have a two interfaces here one interface is fa00 which belong to this 162 network so let's go to that 
interface interface fa 0 by 0 done now let's give the ip address ip space address it is that which network we know it is 162 network and second usable ip is 162.33 because we already given dot 1 to the left routers fa01 so it will be second usable which is dot 2 and it is a class b network so it is 255.255.0.0 and we know the command to switch on that no shut down so this is this middle one is uh, opened up successfully exit now we are left with the last interface interface which one fa 0 by 1 and the commands are ip address uh, we know the it is belonging to this network 200 network so 200.17.18. we already know the gateway we have we decided it is 2 okay so 2 is the ip address of this fa01 255.255.255 why because it is a class c network okay class c has a subnet mask as 255.255.255.0 done no shut down done so everything is properly configured last step is pending we have to configure the rip routing dynamic routing and for this net uh, router we have a two directly connected networks 162 and 200 let's do it side by side so first is uh, the command is very simple router rip rip okay and network network first network is 162.33.0.0 done second network is last command of this uh, this tutorial is 200 200.17.18.0 so this is successfully over now let's test this up how we can test we can test by using a ping command let's try to ping this pc with this pc okay we know this this pc has a ip address as you know its ip address is 2171183 let's ping that okay so open up the left pc go to the uh, command prompt and write a command ping ping and the ip address it is 200.17.18.1 or 3 we can ping any we can uh, expect some timeouts here but uh, overall it should work okay by default we get four replies you can see now start replying so this this indicates now that everything is working very fine because i'm able to ping from the extreme left pc to extreme right pc okay we can also uh, ping three also let's see first we have pinged the this pc and now we are pinging this pc some timeouts are okay but overall it should work you can see now it is working very fine so this concludes this video i hope you must have understood how we can configure the dynamic routing using rip protocol via cli in packet tracer thanks for watching guys see you next video